What's happening, people? Welcome to the General Banter Podcast. Uh, last week I fucked up the date. I said it was like Monday the something, and then I said the Tuesday date. And the internet are very unforgiving. And they were like, bro, you're, are you fucking spastic? <laughs> you fucking spastic retard. Um, but they're good people. You know, that's why we call them yeah. the dead on my feet. Bro, are you fucking, like... People go a bit mad Did you that, get a they? fucking... Bro, pay attention. Like, I couldn't work it out of my head that you made a bit of a... Here's what happens week to week. I just copy the information from the last podcast because they never change. And then some one day I just recorded it early, which completely threw me off. So the one day I tried to be organised, I fucked it all up. My guest today yeah. is my beautiful wife, uh, Maureen uh, Geddes, your name is now, because mm. we've been married for you. Just show everyone your belly. Oh, do I have to get up? Yeah, show everyone your belly. There's not much room here for that. None. There you go. I can't even turn around. There you go. Maureen's full, full pregnant. There's really no room to like back up here. No, we got we're, we're against the wall. Um, it's about time we really stepped this podcast up. And uh, I knew the date. Moved in. Huh? I found out the date. Found out the date. Moved into new premises. Um, you know we're hobbling about today because I have full blown medieval disease gout. I definitely, it definitely yeah. through a series of googles, uh, I found out that I have gout. Yeah. And I said to Mickey. I think I might have gout. And he goes, Jesus Christ, even I don't have gout. And I went, yeah, but the fucking, your heart will stop in a week or two. But you know what I mean? Something will get him, even if it's not gout. He doesn't move enough to get gout, I don't think. But, uh, <laughs> if it, yeah, but then. Well, at the start, it, you thought it was because of cartwheels, so. Well, yeah. I mean. We'll go. It's a, here's what we'll do. We'll come back to gout, which is the name, <laughs> with the name of the new, this podcast. We'll return to gout. Uh, let me do some plugs up up top. Lavery's Comedy Club is tomorrow night. Yeah, it's the first and third Wednesday of every month. This is the third Wednesday of of this month, which is July, which is moving forward. Which is quick. insane. So it'll, it'll be the seventeenth uh, of July. Who have we got? Ryan Collins headlining. He's, yeah, he's from the internet. He's from the internet. Uh, somehow he has hair, but he's balder than me. You know what I mean? It's fair to say. Um, who else is on morning? Can you remember? Uh, we have. Well, we put Ar- in iron at Ar- last Ar- minute. Ar- 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 on because he's going to go away for a month. He's going to be away, so we thought. So well, we thought we'll bring we'll bring in some so, some loaf into the lineup there. Paddy McGaggy's on. Darren Matthews is on. Uh, so there you go. It's going to be and a you're lot. On. I'm on as well. If you know, I can sort of clear up this gout in time. Uh, what other things do you think I'll get by tomorrow? Ringworm and fucking uh, mm-hmm. Ebola. Uh, Lyme disease. Lyme's disease. Old shit. Like real uh, old shit. What else? Scurvy. Ricketts. I would take a Ricketts. Would you? Buy some fucking jeans for once that fit. Adam Ricketts. Adam Ricketts. Do you remember? How sexy and gay was he? What songs did he do? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Adam Ricketts. Did he do that really sexy video where he's all like naked and everything? Yeah, I'll tell you who gets like the most people wanting to fuck them questionably gay dudes am i right yeah some, for Everyone's some reason like, oh my god he looks so like a woman and is sensitive and gay i fancy oh, he's in a, naked in a box i mean that's a woman's haircut i'm too sexy for my <laughs> shirt this video <laughs> you know it's- Show us your blonde weird cock. When you're not here, man, it feel like days and I, wait. I love these songs where they're not really singing. Yeah, something, something. They're do you just know, talking. Do you know what upsets me the most? I haven't had a monetized podcast since the invention of podcasts. And uh, it's usually because I play music and I can't believe that I've fucked it. <laughs> for Adam Ricketts. For Adam Ricketts. <laughs> Can I breathe again? Maybe if you weren't in a goddamn box, you fucking blonde weirdo. <laughs> sort of hit rate in this 22,000 oh yeah my videos get more hits suck my rickety dick <laughs> I love the way someone's finding an effect that like like an earthquake effect that like shakes the camera there's nothing sexy about him trying to cover his cock he kind of just looks like he's trying to clean the shower I was going to say what's weirder than blonde cocks but you fancy blonde people they're your favourite people aren't you I didn't know where you were going to go with that you have a blonde cock, don't you? <laughs> Maureen's always like, my ultimate man is like blonde and skinny. No, not really. I don't yeah, know. you said that loads. Maureen likes homeless surfer guy from like Santa Monica. For it's some reason, he's like really sunburnt and ripped. And you're like, oh, it's cool, but he's, he's got no belongings. He doesn't like that. 
Uh, was he still on Coronation Street when this was out? Is he dead? What? Is he dead? Is he? I don't know. Why did I just get the feeling that he's dead? God. Could, well, break it to me more gently than that. Maureen, take a seat. <laughs> Adam's dead. <laughs> Is he dead though? Look at me looking up Scott. Why would you? Why would he? What makes you think he's dead? I don't know. It's got a, a vibe. Now, he's another guy, right? Why are you just looking at images of him being dead? Because <laughs> I need proof. <laughs> Leaves loose women. Oh, fuck off your cookies. Fucking shove your cookies up your hole. In tears as he opens up about debilitating illness and soulmate wife. I mean, here's the thing about when you're like a guy, you know, people are like, oh my God, he's a beautiful boy, he's beautiful. See, when you're like a cute, good looking guy. You don't age well, do you? No, not really. Hold on, the fucking tune's playing all over the place. Guys tend to be better if they're like kind of half, just a bit rough looking younger, and then they turn <clears> into like a really handsome older man. Yeah, I they mean, look better this guy younger. was like a little blonde, Aryan fucking wet dream, and then he gets older and he looks like... A waxwork? He looks like a young guy who has, you know, AIDS, basically, doesn't he? It happens all the time. Look at all the Macaulay Culkins. Uh, you know, all these like yeah. cute kids and they grow up and you're like, weird. The kid from... Uh, I dare say Harry Styles is in that book. Yeah, probably. People still want to fucking like pull their flaps over his face. What like about the guy from Sixth Sense? And he just, his face stayed the same. Yeah, he, now he's like, typecast as like a fat trucker and everything he plays. Yeah, but like his face was like, he's a little baby and sandwiches. his like face just stayed that size. But oh. his whole head expanded. Like Alan Irwin. Somehow Shout out to Alan Irwin. One of the best, one of the best <laughs> jokes I've ever heard. That is one of Alan goes, uh, he goes, all of my features are in the middle of my face <laughs> and you could hide them all behind a digestive biscuit. That's funny. <laughs> you see, that's, that's why you can't be a good looking comedian because that joke wouldn't exist. That's true. I've also seen a picture of his cock, but post surgery. Does it hide behind a biscuit too? <laughs> a chocolate finger. A ginger nut. <laughs> My tour is uh, on sale at the minute, guys. Uh, if you want to go to Shine... Uh, hold on, which, which channel am I on? I'm on this one. If you want to go to Shine.net, you'll find tickets for all the hotspots, including... Let me just... Uh, so I should have had this ready. Shouldn't I have? Should, shouldn't I have? Can you see where yeah, it's... Yeah, but the guide's taken over. Where's it say safe space? Am I blind? Am I... Can you remember the places I'm going to? I don't really go to in my butt. Uh, in a skill. Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. Um, okay, so here we go. Here we go, guys. Um, 21st September, Ardo 1. Uh, 20th of September, Terrace Hotel, Mahrafelt. 2nd of October, Wheelands, Dublin. Get those tickets because it's the big room because all of a sudden they thought I was some sort of draw in Dublin. So get on it, guys. Uh, the Braid Theatre, Balamina, 18th of October. 29th of November, Daly's Comedy Club. Uh, that date's just been added. Burp, also added. 30th of November. Sold out. And then I'm going to do nights. a second night in dailies. And that goes on sale on Wednesday morning. Wednesday 17th, 10am, shine.net. And uh, they still have no photo of me on the wall. I did the first ever dailies. I'm doing two nights. I'm fucking keeping up. I'm basically You're keeping the first up. one to do two nights too, I think. As in, as part of the trip. And I'll tell you what, I'll be the fucking last one too. Fuck oh, shit. Anchor Bar, Newcastle, 6th of December, 7th of December, Lisburn Arts Centre, whatever. 11th of December, Riverside Theatre, Coleraine. 13th of December, Down Arts Centre, Down Patrick. Why? 14th of December, Nerve Centre, Derry. That's where I do my good gigs, bro. You loved it last year? I go up to Derry and I shit all over it. Uh, 20th of December, Older Fleet Lauren. So there you go. There's a whole pile of shit. And the second date at the Odyssey is also Imagine this right up to Christmas. Isn't that crazy? That is in the mouth of Christmas. Speaking of putting things in mouths, we'll be right back after this, chatting about gout. Gout in a bite with Colin. Cast with Colin Jettis. <laughs> what about you, baby? I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. Let's all welcome the world's godfather of soul. Colin Jettis. Uh, it's Geddes, actually. Jettis. 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 Fuck you. Did you ever see a song on your iTunes and you're like, what is this? Gaelic Storm? I think that's from the Titanic. Is it? It's 
but it's not from the Titanic, but it was used on the Titanic film. Come upstairs and let me draw the chalk drawing of your teats. Anyway, so yeah, here's our week, right? And I'll uh, I'll gradually ramp up the guide news. Uh, what's it all a guide? Well. <laughs> or if you're Canadian, what's it all good? Uh, <laughs> so basically, my ears are sore already. Last Tuesday, um, we went up to Galway, and I did a podcast before that. I was I was ahead of time. Went to Galway. Me and Aaron drove the whole way up. When and, you drove uh, the whole way up. I drove the whole way up. There's been a lot of questions about you know. You know, the guy who runs gigs up there, he's like, you know, will it get calling in? People know who he is in Belfast. They don't, nobody knows who he is up here. You know, he's just the fucking internet weirdo. Um, no one's gonna, no one's gonna want to watch him do comedy. And uh, sure, we went up there, Maureen, and sure wasn't it packed out. I wasn't there, but you said it was and about, amazing. And about twice, about twice a year, you're allowed to go, I absolutely smashed that. And I have it on tape, and I absolutely smashed that, Maureen. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. Arm went up, he smashed, you know. There was another dude from Dublin, he smashed. And then I smashed thrice ways. So there you go, it was great. And then drove home, then the road was closed to Calvin, which... Is there any need for Calvin? That, that should be a fucking show on uh, ITV. <laughs> is there any need for Calvin? I think we pulled in at Monaghan, there was these two boys. Now, they, they were out like... Uh, they were obviously lamping, you know, like shining lights and fields. And, Fair enough. Yeah, and the two of them were all... Uh, at this 24 hour garage trying to be really hilarious the one guy was shouting at the other guy like remember to get condoms and all with that stupid accent it was real funny and I was pissing right around the side of the building it was class anyway don't know why I told you that but um, it's okay. so here so went to that came home okay then we had the idols oh yeah last Thursday we went to see the idols um not the Idols, they're just called Idols, um, who are our new favourite band. And we went down there, drank a lot of beer. You probably shouldn't have went in your state. No, it was fine. It was fine, okay. Uh, I mean, it was Ivy Gardens, it's really like, it was really, really nice. Very beautiful, went to Dublin, and what happened was, we st- there was basically like a large crowd, and then there was like the sound desk, and then there was another bit of space, and then there was the bar. And then me and Maureen stood behind the bar, uh, which was the farthest no, away didn't. possible bit. No, there just was loads of room at the back. Yeah. And it was it's not that big. You could stand at the back and see everything. Oh, I forgot about that. The, you see, that watch used to live in the house and you used to nearly stab me in my sleep. Yeah, because it did that. Yeah. Every day. But wait for it. It climaxes, ready? Get ready for the lock. Why don't you just turn it off? I don't know how to do it. It's a Casio. Right. You have six other ones and I have turned all the alarms off now and you have never ever thought to look how to turn it'll, them it'll, off. I tried it. I hit all the buttons at once. Nothing right, That's not how you do it. Anyway, went to, see the Id- went to see Idols, came out, you know, I mean, talk about hipsters. I've never, I've never seen hipsters like that in my life. Remember the guy that came outside, he was like, fuck the guards. And then he went, and also fuck RTE. I know, you laughed a lot at that, didn't you? I was like, I laughed at him in his mouth nearly. Yeah. Like, you fucking loser. Um, and then he's drank quite a lot that day of course we do. you don't go to like a gig like that and be like oh, oh, I know. let me just chill out I was I was getting lit and I even said to you I was like is this is this a green light for me to get pissed and you were like yeah have a good time I'll just be over here you know upset about it so <laughs> so yeah I was at a I was at a punk gig I drank a lot of a lot of beer ran into some people that I used to know and uh he jumped on me and I spilled all the beer everywhere. Yeah. So my shirt was completely soaked. But anyway, I think once I looked at it... Anyway, the next day, I was like, oh, my fucking foot's a bit sore here. And I thought it was probably from the apple greens that we stopped at. And I was doing cartwheels. Perfect technique and form. And slow, slow and controlled, you know, not just throwing your body. Like real, real nice movement. And I was like, that's a bit sore. You were putting sore. on a show, really, at the toilet. Yeah, pretty much. You know, if if I had a cartwheel and pissed at the same time, um, the Catherine wheel, that would have been amazing. You know? And then the next day I was like, that's a bit sore. That would have been, what, Friday? Yeah. And then the next day was a bit sore and, uh, you know, we took more drinks on Saturday and then I was absolutely disabled. 
on Sunday. Yesterday I couldn't move, today I can barely move. And uh, we looked up all the symptoms and turns out it probably is gout. And then I told my sister and she's like, oh yeah, I have gout. And your granny has gout. And they actually give her two fake hips back in the day because they, <laughs> mi- they misdiagnosed her with gout. Imagine, which is imagine so, that though. Which is so fucking extreme. Imagine going in and being like, uh, I have a bit of a sore foot. And they're like, get them hips out. Get those yeah. hips fucking right get out right now. Out. You know, is that athlete's foot? I'm stack to me right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you know what I mean? That's that is so extreme. Like, it's so extreme. Yeah. Is that tennis elbow? Tonsils out. Get it out. <laughs> Gall bl- bladder. Fucking spleen. Get it all out. We want nothing in your body. Shin splints? <laughs> get the fucking arms off. Right now, you'll do with one kidney. Get it out. <laughs> what do you oh think it is? God. You got alopecia? Pull all her teeth out. Not, not one lo- t- tooth left in her head. So extreme. So yeah. she, she was like the youngest woman in the. This is probably this is the worst brag of all time. She she keeps saying was, was the youngest woman in what Ireland UK mm, something like that to have. Hip, not hip not a good brag orgasm. when they did it wrong, you know. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Imagine. I'm like, oh, I'm the first guy with like you know fully robotic functioning legs. And they go, like, why did you get those? Uh, I needed a root canal when I woke up like this. Yeah. I woke up like. This. You know, <laughs> um, is it hereditary though? Uh, can be or anything can be hereditary if everyone in your family has it, you know what I mean? Which includes Parkinson's, dementia, and other things. Although that was like people in the 70s, they, they, were, they were fucking out of control. That's right, then. You know, in movies, when I just imagine like Anchorman, they were just like, Oh, well, it's lunchtime, and just you know, like, sorry, my fingers broke, full bottle of fucking just whiskey at lunchtime. I'll be sober up by the time I drive home to the pub. I know you stopped Sm- drinking for a while, went to Punky, got drunk, well, that's, and then this got is out. This is what I think, right? But and here's know. what confuses me, because whenever I was in a car crash a long time ago, I did really hurt my toe, and it was cl- like clicking about, you could feel cartilage and everything, because my head was hanging open, no one gave a shit about the foot, so for years walked around bad foot, and then I would like hurt it, like if I was doing jiu-jitsu or something, it would just like jam it on the floor, and it would be sore, so I wonder, like I was confused, like... Did I injure it doing car wheels? Or was it because I had so much beer, having had very little beer for a long time, did my body just go, oh my God, here's the Henry VIII fucking disease on the foot? It could be both. Either way. But you know what's great? Oh, there's another watch going off. That's the banter alarm. Either way. What's good is you're really good with pain and inconvenience, aren't you? No. You don't let it even phase you? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the war... It's absolutely murderous pain. I know. Do you know? It's not It's not like, oh, you have a wee bit of a sore It's literally like, I can't put my foot on the ground because it feels like the whole thing is about to just snap off. Yeah, it sounds pretty horrendous. I, didn't, I never really knew what it was, but... You just your joint comes inflamed, but it's weird because it, you may as well have broken your foot. Oh, it and it just I've, like comes out of nowhere, like you've just oh your foot. It, fi- it I may as well have like just put it, just shoved it in a fucking food processor and took it out, and it's raw and broken, and I'm like I can't put weight on that. And then just goes away. So uh, you know what I mean? I'll fucking uh, I'll uh, I'll go get it checked out anyway. You know. But anyway, idols were class. They were. Me and my sister had two very different experiences though, because I'm at the back, being like Pregnant. making a circle around me, like no one touched me. I mean, there was no one around me, and my sister was crowd surfing. Crazy. So you know, and you kept saying like, you know, I actually meant to put that video up. You though, kept saying, "Go so on up ridiculous. there," and I was like, "Imagine what the sort of husband I would be if I was like." Yeah, I'll just leave my pregnant wife by herself whilst I go mosh like a thirty-two-year-old. Gout ridden fat Yeah, bitch. but you kept doing this, like, oh, I'm so jealous. He's so jealous. And I was like, just go up. I don't care. Yeah. No, no, I'll not go, but like, I'm just really, but, but really because jealous. Because of like your selfish <laughs> actions of going, I had to then have you your experience. You bought me a ticket. And I drove. Oh, you drove drunk people down and back up again. <laughs> I woke up like this. And you have no idea how sweaty all of you were in the car on the way back. Well, I was okay. Mine was beer. I didn't sweat that much. I should have been compensated for how gross the car was. So? Yeah. The car's getting out of con- get, getting out of hand because I, you know, before I got the gout, um, 
<laughs> pre gout, I was. This uh, is our life now, pre gout. I was going for. I was doing runs last week. I was working out a fair bit. I wonder, actually, was the uh, the initial gout inflammation, <laughs> um, which would have been, let's say, Saturday, starting to get sore. I did very heavy deadlifts, and then I did like burpee type things, and I did a lot of stuff where my toes were like bent. Um, I wonder did that kick it on a notch and then another feed of beer till like four in the morning. <clears throat> Not a healthy week. I mean, you know, I actually think the older you get, if you're going to work out pretty hard, you have to be fully he- eating healthy and sleeping well. You can't like work out really hard and then also get yeah, on like a dick. it's too much for your body probably. Yeah, because your body's like... All extreme. It's like sweating too much and then, you know, like there's no nutrients left in your body or something. Can't see your wee face at no, all. But this always goes up really high. Got a tiny face there and tiny shoulders. You get made fun of your tiny shoulders quite a bit. I know I wore this, so it didn't look like they were small. Like look wider <laughs> here. You're gonna have to start contouring your shoulders. I don't know what you mean though. Everyone just slags you because it's the, the actual size of it is is like that size. Like my elbows bigger than your shoulders. Yeah, I was looking at our wedding photos. My shoulders were way bigger because I was doing so much like exercise. Well, wise up. You had like three oh. three gym sessions or whatever. Oh, shut up. This is our favourite song of the week, isn't it? This is for anyone who feels they just need a... It's basically a motivational song. <laughs> it is great because at some point in your so, life, you know, everybody will be like... Everyone will have said this to you. So what are you doing? What do you do now? Like as if, as if when you're 22, you're not allowed to loaf around a wee bit yeah. and just, just have a job and just, you know, get some yeah, fucking beer. Yeah, this be- is for anyone who's left university. Get some beer money and piss about. And you don't know what you want to do. Well done. Why don't you get a job? Even Tarquin has a job. Mary Berry's got a job. So why don't you get a job? Well done. Why don't you win a medal? It's so good. Um, anyway, so good. major life developments. We uh, I'm sweating. That's well done by idols. By the way, you want to know? Another reason why I'll not get monetized. Yeah. Surely it's an ad for their. Surely you're going like, listen, this is great. Listen to this. Yeah, listen to idols. But then it's probably people who you know would want to be stealing fucking uh, views or whatever. We went, we went uh, to look at more proms. What is it? What is it, the thing called? What? You said there's a difference between prams and buggies and chairs and all shit. Yeah. What do we get? That's a... <sighs> pram? Yeah. Okay. I think it's like, is it pram and then pusher and then buggy? Like, buggy. I thought that was just what things people called them, but a buggy is actually like an outdoors sort of like... It's all different heavy shit. Heavy duty, like... Well, I thought a buggy was the wee light one that just, like, you would throw on a bus. No, that's a push chair. It's like a chair that you push. Oh, fuck And then the other one's, like, it has, for a young baby, like, a tiny baby that has, like, like, the bed in it and stuff. Yeah. That's, like, a pram. Hmm. If you buy it all, it's a travel system. Who knew? Who knew there was so many different things to prams? Anyway. There is a lot of different things. This couldn't have summed us up anymore. We go in, you go, like, there's, like, those main... By the way, as soon as I put up something about a fucking baby chair, everyone's, like... A bit of advice, get this one. And I heard like eight different answers from people. Everyone's going to have different things they like anyway. But uh, t- typical of us to go in and be like, nah, looking around, not too sure about this one. Oh, fucking. Meg- no, first of all, we did was Me- play with the toys. Oh, yeah. We didn't even make it into the shop. Where yet. the fuck was this place? It's outside our man. Cutie. Outside our man. It's basically in the middle of fucking. It's called Kings. Where yeah. everybody talks like out there and fucking, uh, fucking stuck your baby in that. But th- Genuinely, just to sidetrack, there's not many baby shops. No, there's like three. I thought it was like they're all over the place. They're not really. There's a handful there's like of places. three or something. But anyway, we so. we uh, went the way down there and then looked at the, the place sells toys, but like mainly for culture oh. children. You know, you can buy like a tiny dumper truck that has, or like a wee tractor that has like bales. By the way, that. the bales were eight quid. Oh, fuck, they? Fuck off, bro. You could make that. Yeah, well, you could, all right. <laughs> you could make that, all right. Yeah, but what about all the miniature like stuff? Amazing. A lot of miniature like coffee pots and stuff. Yeah. Which I love stuff like that. It's all tra- training kids to be Why is like it way more exciting adults? for tiny? Make me a coffee. You fucking lazy yeah, bitch. make me a coffee. Um, 
But yeah, then we went Very with exciting. the proms, and in typical fashion, we went, okay, not too keen on these ones, bit small. This one over here, they're like, oh, the royal family use these ones, and you're like, well, so. And then they were like, okay, there's this other range, and we're like immediately drawn to like, or like, look at this one, all like this one, all yeah. black, <laughs> Ugh, like quilted, fucking material on it, and th- th- of course they were like, that one's a special edition one, and I was like, fucking right, it is. And the, this old boy that worked in the shop who didn't really know much information other than he goes, there's about £300 worth of difference between that and the other one. And I went, of course yeah. there is. And then they were like, yeah, this is the, this is the special model. And of course, that's the only one I liked. Yeah, of course we picked the most expensive one. Yeah, the you fucking AMG, you know, murdered out. It's basically sports, there's sports a, fucking kit. There's a version of that, which is literally three, four hundred pounds cheaper. The exact same pram, only we got that particular material which is like yeah. an it's insane all, it, thing to it's say literally but all black but you went that's the only one i like well, <laughs> i mean in fairness they're all they're all up there in dearness do yeah, you know what yeah. i mean so it's like if you spend a wee bit more now I, you obviously get like a whole range of shite with it like you get all the attachments and all the fucking yeah that fucking baby bag that you put the baby in what's it called muffs or something that's yeah cool. that's when they're bigger yeah F- foot muff and uh all that bullshit but i was just like get you just may as well get the one that you actually think is the very best one well yeah because if you know you're already spending a fucking fortune anyway so just yeah and you may as well get one you like you're gonna be using it a lot yeah you may as well like the look of it there's no point going for something for the difference of a few hundred pound if you're gonna go i really hate that pram now to buy another one at some other point would be pointless. So yeah, I gotta get. I the feel like one. this one would do forever because it's just but also jet black the whole thing. Also the fucking the murdered out all yeah. black like. I quite like it all black because so there's yeah. always these different like colors and you know there's cream here and there's navy and then there's silver and it's just all right. But nah, they get shit. dirty or they get old looking. This is just solid black. I yeah. like it. That's sick. That's what I'm saying let that the baby, baby do the accessorizing. That you know? baby sick is gonna really show up on that black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's got a sweet bag that comes with it, like a rucksack. It's got a sweet bag. A backpack. It's even. got the good wheels, the fat tires on yeah. it. Good suspension. Also, it's it was the biggest one because the other ones were like there's one like called an egg or something, which I think people really like because it's very cool looking. I'm not a fan, but they're very small, and it's really really low down for yeah. anyone like any guys that are tall. Yeah, it's really low. It doesn't the handle honest, doesn't come, so you have to think of things like that. I'm not so fucking not tall, but like. Even some of them fully extended out. Yeah, it's this a, one comes. It's up a bit high. like even like a lawnmower. You're like, this is if this was just yeah six inches bigger, you'd be able to fucking stand up straight. But I'm the same. I like it being up higher. I don't like when it seems really small. Yeah, you like it more like you're on a Harley Davidson like this. Yeah, up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we will put a deposit down on that bad boy. Yep. Know what I mean? Get the fucking chair and I'll take it for a few walks. It's always really bought, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. We haven't bought anything else. We've looked at other things, but yeah, we will. We'll we'll do that very soon, probably. Like buy it a sibling. Hmm. Buy it a sibling. Yeah. Like Madonna style. Oh, here's a baby, and then we're like, here's your fucking uh, Congolese brother. Like that pygmy show we watched. That happened. Was it your girl? Um, what's her name? It's Capri. Madonna. No, Caprice or one of oh, those uh, stupid names. And she she was. Do you know what her second name is? What? Son. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Capri Son. I don't even know what she's famous for. She's not she famous was, at she all. She was a but, model. Oh, okay. Everyone wanted but that. She, she must have had trouble having Damn. kids and then she wanted to adopt. So she adopted a, a brand new baby. And then she got pregnant in the meantime. So her two kids. She, she fucked it back in the sea. Are, but no, they're only about something like a month or something <laughs> apart. But she's never told them which one is like the biological one. But isn't that mad? Imagine like, <laughs> you know, you got find out you're pregnant as you are Is it from adopting. the Congo? No. So she's not going like, I'm not going to tell you which oh, one's no, biological. No. One of them's like full black and the other one's like white as shit like her. Guess which one's biological? <laughs> eh? Matumbo? <laughs> We call him Maddie. I just love where you find his name in your brain there. <laughs> what were you even thinking? It's like Japanese names. Like, can, have you had that like sitting in your brain? You can just, kind of, you can just kind of make them up. <laughs> you made that up? That's probably. Is that a real name? Look it up. 
<laughs> Mit Tim. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> so bloody racist. Oh Let me see. I'm see I bet you it's a name. Uh, Matimbo. <laughs> Are you might, spelling it? Oh, oh, it's actually a meal. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's food. <laughs> of course it's food. It'll be, like, it's food. It'll be like they adopted a wee white kid and they're like, we are going to call him Sword of Farl. <laughs> we have, we have adopted a child from Marafelt. His name, his name... Phil Soda. <laughs> Philip Soda. Phil Soda. His name is Philip Soda, but oh we call him Phil gosh. Soda. And this little girl, Stu. <laughs> Stop. This anyway. is our baby daughter we have we have adopted from Arma. <laughs> Her name <laughs> Mash Potatoes. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> The little girl is called Jambon. <laughs> it's not a French, but it was pretty... It's like Goujon. Did they say Goujon anywhere but here? I think someone just looked at that and was like, chicken finger is a bit crass. It's called a Goujon. Does Goujon mean finger in French? Actually, it does. I think it does mean something I like that. I was with the lady and I Goujon the fuck out of her. And <laughs> Goujon... Meaning? <laughs> I love how your search history has always been food right now. hundred percent. You know some fucking owl doll just made it up. A mud cat? Excuse me? Goujon. Why don't you get a job? No, fuck. Pop-ups. Fucking suck cat. Excuse me? Goujon. <laughs> a mud cat. Oh, fuck you. What? Why don't you get a job? Deep fried strips of chicken or fish, but there has to be a direct small strip of fish or chicken. Is it French meaning? Mm. What? Stud? What? Oh well, it doesn't then. Either way, it's giving me gout, you know what I mean? Matumbo, do you want some Matumbo for dinner? <laughs> So racist. Um, what the fuck were we talking about there? I have no idea. So it was the glorious 12th, um, <laughs> wasn't it? It was the 12th and it kept showing footage from Belfast and it was fucking disgusting. But tell me this, I didn't actually watch the news at all, but were they showing like, were they just showing like parades or were they showing like all the crazy people drinking and throwing rubbish in the street? No, they they would show the parades usually on the twelfth. But they wouldn't show any of the like. The rubbish thing gets me. Yeah, More it's, than anything. It's, it's disgusting, and then there's just seeing people... all the rubbish on the floor uh, makes me so sad. I saw footage of a guy like you know, uh, kind of sweeping it up, but he was doing it in such a slow like. Where do I even start with this? Well, you know, like, he like was the just, next day, he was just sweeping a wee bit. And he sort of stopped. And he was like, I need a fucking. Snowplay or something? I, honestly, only, I mean, and that was like five years ago, probably, when I worked on the 12th in Belfast. And coming to work the next day was, I've just never seen a city, like, destroyed like that. It's Obviously it gets tidied, but like, on, you honestly can't really believe how much rubbish and like glass and just stuff is on the streets. Do you know what it would be it's like? actually like, you're going, was there a million people here? Like, it's... It doesn't even equate to how many people could have been there, how much there was. Sometimes I think like, uh, it you know, it would be more of a sort of community festival type thing if, you know, you did sort of volunteer to go back and clean it up a bit. Well, I mean, you know, say if we were at that gig on Thursday and it's in like Ivy Gardens, I know it's small, but like there's people have to like pick up all the rubbish as the show was going on still. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, because it's so bad if all these pl- this plastic is sitting around everywhere. See a Bell Sonic, straight away, as soon as the show's over, there was like 50 people employed Way to come more, out. Like fucking 200 people. Just... You know, spread across the field and everyone's picking up all the rubbish straight away. Whereas I don't get how, like that's like literally on the like public roads 
and the place is trashed. Yeah. It's cool. And it's people like, you know, let's be honest, urinating on the street too and glass <laughs> bottles smashed and Maureen, it's not even just plastic. It's if you like, could watch your language, please. No, I didn't this even want is, to say because it, it makes me so this sick. This is the general banter podcast, all right? Only because so. I saw that one year, that year that I was walking home. Oh yeah, they'll just and piss. And some guy, and this was, this was not late. Some guy was just like pissing, right? And you're going, what? I'm going to show Where, you. How is this allowed? I don't know. Watch this. Right? Hold on. What? Why don't you get a job? <whistles> let me see. Let me see. No. No. This is on the 12th, right? I'll describe what's going on. It's outside that. What's that called? Eulady? Oh, what's yeah. it called? That's like, what road's that? It's basically at the bottom of Sandy, Sandy Road there. Right? Look at this guy. Now, Dude, that's embarrassing. Yeah, don't take... Also, first of all, don't take your dick out when it's that size, you know? I didn't even know penises could be that small. Well, you're used to a certain standard, but... Um, You've got gout, so I'm not high-fiving you. I've, yeah, I've, I've got such a big dick. It's got gout <laughs> in one of the joints at the bottom. <laughs> the joints. Now, what's more disturbing, his tiny cock or the fact that he's kind of shed his pants there? I would say all of that is wrong. Shit his pants. What a long day. You know what I mean? He's just out. I'm going to take a shit behind a bin. One more tiny cat. Wild, isn't it? Fucking wild. But, uh... I mean, it's very like, I don't know, there's something uh, very primitive and barbaric about all that. Yeah, people just... It's like you're allowed to just go out and be a wild human. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking about anything else. I'm not including this, the praise. I'm not including anything that's involved in it. I'm just talking about that, like the, the drunken madness part. Yeah, it's, it's completely lawless. It's like, People are just like, oh, let's, I can do whatever the fuck I want right now. You know? And, it's just, and it's, it's let's face it, that, that guy doesn't have a job that he's going to lose. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you sat that guy down and went, write me an A4 page on the history of what this date means to you. I don't think he would know many facts about it. Well, sure, that all that shit so, came out. Came out where it's like there's like this big long list of stuff. Why the twelfth is kind of they're like the well, date isn't significant. The fucking thing, you know. There's like a whole pile of shit. Doesn't even, most people do know that, and they should know that. And if you don't, look it up easily. Yeah. I might because I don't know anything. So tell yeah, me this: something happened. What did they? What did they vote for over here? They didn't vote for anything over here. Yeah, was it just like threat of something? No, it was... De- <laughs> they were like, by the way, in the near future, oh. you might have some human rights. No, More, it, it, was what, voted, it was voted in Parliament. It wasn't here. We don't have a okay, government they, here. They, they voted what? For where... It, it wasn't even legalisation necessarily. I think it was decriminal, decriminalisation of abortion and gay marriage laws. And if it's not... But you can't do either of those things? Still? Well, it'll, it'll depend. It, it, it has, up, I think it's up to, the, is it the 21st of October for things to be properly decided here? Um, but basically, if not, that's it's going to be in line with the rest of the UK. And if you want to celebrate on the 21st of October, you can come to my gig at the Braid Theatre the couple of days before. There you go, that could happen. Why don't you get a job? I mean, this is me very... Hard quality cameras, historic day in Northern Ireland. But it's the first advancement ever made, basically. Legalize same sex marriage. It's so embarrassing at the minute, isn't it? It's so embarrassing, guys. Just fucking well, get it, it's it sorted. Em- it's embarrassing because we're the only place don't have equal laws. Yeah. To the rest of the UK, and most people want everything to be the same as the UK over here, except you know, it's always except that you know, except X Y Z. Yeah. We want to be exactly the same as UK, except for this and this and this, because. You know, I did, that makes no sense. I just think it's like, you know, everybody fucking like, it's just, there's no empathy. It's like everybody would change their mind if they just knew somebody or, mm. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah. you know, I'm so anti-drugs or whatever. And then you have a child that has like fucking epilepsy and you're like, the only thing helps it is a cannabis oil. You would quickly fucking change your mind. Same as anything. So true. Oh, fuck the gays, blah, blah, blah. Until like you you have a child that's gay, and then you're like, unless you're an absolute fucking psychopath, you're gonna support them. Yeah, but I think a lot of people just have these illusions of what things mean. I mean, at least the Catholic you know? Church has the priesthood, and you can be like, I don't want to tell anyone I'm gay, and they're like, put that fucking uh, 
collar on you there and fuck some well, cats. Well, I mean, there is truth to that, you know, and that's the problem because you have to sweep everything under carpets, you know. Yeah. You have to Irish pretend car- like it's not there. Irish carpets are lumpy. But, you know, forget all the abuse aside, how sad would it be to know that you're gay so you'll probably never be happy with a woman so you just have to be with no one, you know? No, it's, like, it's fucking You know, terrible. that's what's sad about that. That's what's sad about people back in the day going into priesthood. Yeah. They've just went, well, I'll just be with no one then, you it's, know? It's very sad. It's very sad. Yeah. And also, you know, what do people think is going to happen here? I think with the abortion and gay marriage thing, it's, it's not going to force people to do it. It's not going to make it a big spectacle. It's just going to be a change in law. So it's not illegal for these people to do it. Why yeah. would it be illegal? They should, ju- no they should just make it legal and so that everyone realises how much of a not big deal yeah. it is apart from You're like, not going to start bit, getting uh, invitations to gay weddings left, right and centre. It's, it's just... Well, I fucking hope so. Well, we hope so. But, <laughs> you if know, I, but for anyone who's like... If I don't go to a gay know, wedding, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. I'd love to go to a gay wedding. Will you refer... Will you punch people if they refer to your baby as the child? Only if they do it seriously. Yeah. You know? How does Maureen feel about you uh, watching porn on the podcast and keep up the good work? What could I possibly feel about that? I mean, it, it, it doesn't happen anymore. It happened for a period of time whenever it was people thought it was funny to just send me a Mickey, like some grotesque shit. I mean, a lot of it was very funny. But the thing is, most of it you find grotesque, so it's fine. Me? It sounds like you're actually watching porn on a podcast. No, we're just, it's usually like really gross clips or something. Also, Colin constantly shows me gross clips of things, so... I'm glad there was a while he was only doing it here With without Becky. me being involved. Because <laughs> usually it would be him showing me. So, that's what is the thing it. that you guys are most excited about parenthood? <gasps> mm, next Halloween, miniature Halloween costumes. Dress the child up as Miniature Halloween costumes. A wee fucking skeleton or something. Uh, yeah. And the twelfth with the baby next year. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Get a wee Union Jack baby grow and a wee tiny drum and just let yeah. it be like, Take its little penis out. Just re- we'll reenact that photo. You're you disgusting. You're disgusting. Uh, um, would you ever consider doing a radio show? Hey, C Divine? No. And I'm not... Do you know what? I'm not even reading further on that question. Always love your choice of music and you're actually entertaining to listen to. Oh, oh well, fuck me! Well, I get it, actually, because you can play music on a radio station. 90% of the shit that goes out on air now, it would obviously be better if people could podcast and play the music, but they can't see that happening. Um, yeah, but I would never do a radio show, unless they were like, okay, you come in, uh, you know, once a week, and we give you, like, 50 grand a year. And you can swear and play porn. Yeah. <laughs> on air. That's the problem. Uh, but yeah, I actually do like playing music. I might. St- it was an idea I had a long time ago. Where I was like, if you're like a Northern Irish slash Irish band, send me all your shit and I'll just play it at the end as like promo for stuff here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Put fucking it, ATL. It, on it is always fun hearing people suggest songs, isn't it? Yeah. Do you recall a position that resulted in conception? Sensible question. Have you planned the first big trip you'll take with the child on seeing, seeing as you're both globe trotting jet setters, when's my turn on the podcast? And that's from the life of the funeral. When's your time on the podcast? When's your turn on the podcast? Never. <laughs> Mickey Bartlett wanted to do a podcast today and I went, no, I can't be fucked seeing you. Um, Because you're cranky and you've got gout. I'm, I'm gout ridden, <laughs> you know what I mean? Got gout penis. Um, hold on a second. We have talked about trips already. Yeah. Um, because by next sort of like May, June. Baby, the that's baby what we're calling the baby, be, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Like whatever. How much are you call five, it? Five, six, May, seven. June. This is a little May, June. I bet you there is a baby called that. Yeah. That's not the weirdest name. Definitely Asian. This oh, May, full name, May, June? This May, June. Please stop saying racist baby names. Why? I don't know why, but just stop it. Imagine you just give it a full Chinese name. The way like... Chinese people come over here and give their children English names. Yeah, completely like names that haven't been used in years. Angel. Oh, this is our son, Ray. I know a Chinese guy called Ray. Like my sister, suggesting Roy as a name. Roy is so Asian. She absolutely loves the weirdest, oldest, ugliest names. Victor. (laughs) Victor Chang or something. Always happens. Um, Do you recall a position resulted in conception? I don't even remember the fucking event. I don't think it's mine. We'll see what happens. Um, 
Who do you think is the best stand-up on the local scene? Me. Got tickets for the second SSE <laughs> show. Looking forward to it. You basically answered the, your own question there. You know what I mean? Who do you think is the best stand-up on the local scene? Got tickets for your SSE show. Did you send that message to anyone else? Did you? <laughs> Look at the paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? You've got gout, but you're still confident, which I like, you know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do your tattoos mean, if they have any meaning at all? I don't fucking know. They actually Did, all do have a meaning. Yeah, it means I like to be fair. getting fucking artwork on my arm, so who gives a fuck? Well, fuck. this one's from our wedding, actually. Yeah, I got that at the wedding. Woke up, woke up like this. Did you ever see Brendan Grace? What do you think of the whole old school comedic style? <sighs> Never saw him. Never seen or him. Or much of his stuff. The thing is, I don't care about anybody else, really, to be honest with you. I'll go see some comedians or whatever, but, you know, it's like that thing, that street sign, you're born alone and you will die alone. You know what I mean? No one's got your back. Even I have been stricken with gout, and Maureen's like... And that's what you said in our wedding vows, wasn't it? <laughs> Maure- Maureen's got, like, a match holding it closer and closer to the bridge between me and Moyne she's like the guy better heal up and yeah. you, you better get useful or you'll die you know what I see you're there? too big to be limping around that's why I saw the creepiest thing of all time it was someone it was on nature as metal they were cutting a tree down but years before that a dog must have chased something into the you know like a tree with a hole in it and the mm. dog just got stuck and died and they cut the tree open and it was just a dog like half rotted like ah. Uh, how scary. I don't know why I got onto that. What amazing. Congratulations on both the baby and selling out your first SSE arena date. King of the North. Haha. <laughs> are you going to take any time off when the baby arrives or are you always on the grind? Time, well, I'm sure. I don't know. I'll be around. Like You had to rearrange your tour a bit so that there's yeah. a gap in November. Yep, but yep, yep. yep. Yeah, that's no, it. yeah I'll, not, I'll not be doing much in November, but that's about it. You still um, do podcasts though. Yeah. Got you'll be here. It's fine. Do you post Dead All Mafia clothing to Malta? Probably could, yeah. Um, there is an international shipping option. Recommended to Craig McMorris. Recommended you to me at work. Helps me pass the days. Well, shout out to Craig McMorris. You yeah, mad bitch. Um, podcast question, is Maureen enjoying being pregnant? Yeah, I actually really am. I've had quite a nice time so far. I really have, though. I actually really enjoy it. Yeah. I'm actually enjoying being bigger, in fact. It's just chilling out. And you're really not that big. Everyone that sees you keeps telling you you're not that big at all. No, I don't think I'm really big. But I just mean, like, it's definitely... You get to, like, the 21, 2, 3 weeks mark. And you definitely do look more pregnant. It looks like a pregnant belly rather than just, like, a belly. Which I like. I like looking more pregnant. I mm-hmm. want to be even more pregnant. Like. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah. I think not enough people sort of say that they really enjoy it. All I hear is people being like, oh my God, it's so hard and this is wrong and this is wrong. And yeah. you're like, you're just kicking your body's body. different, obviously, e- but like, eating chocolate cereal. Enjoy yourself. So, just farting all over the place eating cereal. So there you go. So, you know, even like your sister was terrified of the idea of it because all she heard was people like horror stories. Yeah. Tell you what, guys, I haven't but been do, sick once. Do, I felt do, great. Do you know what's crazy about like phobias and stuff? My sister legit is so scared of vomit that it would put her off having children. Probably, but like I am, I also have a bit of vomit. Phobia, but you know, no but one, I'm trying to get over it. No one it, likes vomit. You're actually like she's actually like would no. fucking like open the door of a plane if someone threw oh, up. I on know. It. But um, I've had really bad experiences with people being <clears> sick in like buses and stuff where I've been trapped. So I have a real phobia of it. But I've tried to get over it. Would you hear this? Make sure you hold your wife's hand when she goes for her first poo after giving birth. Lots of support needed and words of breathe. You can do it. Do people not do that all the time? Yeah, you probably need it every day. We always hold our hands poo, don't we? Come on. <laughs> Just through the door. Come on. Yeah. Women have a thing built into them where it's like if a guy sneaks off for a dump, you immediately are doing a task right outside the door. But that's because you do it six times a day, so it's really impossible to miss. And it and depends. And I, ch- I, switch, I switch the rooms up. And I don't even mean bathrooms. Like just sometimes rooms. I'll be like, I'll be like, is this door locked? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm shitting in a bin. Yeah, come on, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> would you ever do the Morn Wall Walk, twenty four miles and three thousand meters hiking? Would be good for heavyweight cut. You guys and bro science are my best gym motivation. Um, twenty four miles, bro. I don't know. 
I'd have to work up to that, I think. That would take you all fucking day. It would definitely take you all day. It would take you two days. Like, have you ever been, would you ever go back to Oktoberfest? Also, ever heard of Great Van Flake? A few decent, no, haven't heard of them. Greta Van Flake. Um, would I ever go back to Oktoberfest? No, I was offered to do it a while ago and I was like, let me tell you something. I can go to Derry and play a wonderful gig at the Nerve Centre to some very nice people. I'm not going to go up in front of an Oktoberfest crowd who don't give a... F- I mean, stand-up comedy is the worst entertainment they could ever, ever think of at like an Oktoberfest. Oh, you've got yeah. people sitting sideways drinking fucking gallons of beer. Tell you what you need. Someone trying to make a point about Brexit. Yeah, here's what you need to tell people to be quiet now. No. Yeah. Here's what you need, a band. I did it once in the middle of like a very busy period of gigs and I literally nearly lost my voice from that one gig and it would have fucked me up for about two weeks and I was like, never again. Never again. Warren, you have to go very soon. Mm-hmm. And I have to wrap up this thing to send back to China. And by the way, it's a gimbal. Yeah. And it's broken and I have to send it back to fucking China. And I've looked at it on the internet and the price is down and honestly, I'm like... I might just buy a fucking new one. Piece of shit. What song do you want to play out on? Maureen, what are you feeling at the minute? Um, I've just been listening to a lot of Tudor Cinema Club recently. Pick a song. Uh, put on... Uh, uh, put on the satellite. Satellite. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going to see them, actually, in October. Yeah, but you'll be fat but- shit. Yeah, we'll see. It might be fine, like. I'll but. take your ticket and I'll fucking FaceTime you. Oh, I really want to see them, do. Listening to... Craft Look. The new stuff is class. There, I mean... It's amazing that I was talking about this last week that you're such a fan of them and we're literally sitting beside that guy at Shane's wedding. But I didn't see, I couldn't see like it was in a row. You loving that? I listen to them every day. Genuinely, I listen to them every day. That's all you get, because we're probably going to get sued. Yeah. Right, we're going to get out of here. Thanks very much, Maureen. Do you show everyone your big outfit? <laughs> oh my god, look at how bad it is. We're doing well, aren't we? Us two hobbling about. Fuck's sake. What if I go in here and they're like, oh, it's the babies, get it off. Yeah, you're just one of those people with those big shiny red legs now. <laughs> right, we've got to get out of here. Uh, Lavery's is tomorrow night, first of our Wednesday of every month. Tour tickets, I'll be all about the place. I need to get on to the guys booking the internet, or the sort of UK gigs, because... <laughs> paying you so be quicker um, and then yeah the second Odyssey show's on sale and we should have more merch online soon yeah, well the merch is online if oh. you want to it's been restocked we've got the general t-shirts the general mm-hmm. banter podcast t-shirts we've got the white dead on mafia and then I need to put up the live black and white t-shirt which is very very swag very nice. it might be the best t-shirt of the whole lot sold some of those at the show Yep, no, um, real tasty. But that's it. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. See you later, Maury. Have a nice day, everyone. You got to go to get your nails done. Yeah. Great. I I'm know gonna, important things. I'm gonna eat noodles and then go get my gout like that. Yeah, See you later.